if you do find yourself lying on your side, one of the really big issues is seat belt. I can understand when seat belts have just bolted to the B pillar and the drivers are uncomfortable. But with integrated seat belts, you're a lot safer. And as far as being able to jump clear, well, it's just not true. You are safer in a seat belt, full stop. This particular bloke here, he had a fully integrated seat belt and seat very similar to this. He washed off 100 k's an hour in less than 100 metres on his side. He walked away with scratches. This bloke on around about 35, 40 k's an hour ended up on the footpath over here through the windscreen in critical condition. Big difference, isn't it? This guy here also had no loose material in the cabin. If you've got your seatbelt on, you're probably going to get a bruise on the right here. You'll get a cup. This is generally what a driver comes out with. And he's usually all right, yeah, unless something's entered the cabin. Because remember, this, ca this crash is 100 k's, but a lot of crashes are only about 35. That, that whipping of the cabin crashing down is absolutely phenomenal. If there's nothing in the cabin to hit you, you're probably going to survive and walk away to be able to talk about it. My husband's always said there's only two things that do it, which is gravity and speed, which is obviously a big part of it, but there's more to it as well. And if people know what it is, you know, they might be able to avoid it. We're not coming up with brand new things. It's about bringing in what's already known by the drivers and our contractors and putting that in place in some sort of consistent way across the whole industry. What we're sort of encouraging the industry to do is take the lead, the logging industry sitting up the front there holding their heads high, from the logging industry and the work they've done. They've been developing codes of behaviour, general codes of behaviour covering all aspects of safe haulage. And a lot of it has actually led to a dramatic decrease in rollovers. We've had significant reductions over the last two years in truck incidents. 60% reduction in truck accidents in Vic Forest's area. So the code of behaviour along with some other training programs has been really significant. Their whole code goes around everything that happens on a day-to-day -day basis. Their productivity has gone up, the complaints from the public have absolutely dropped down to almost zero and even the drivers themselves, if other drivers come in and aren't following this type of thing and creating danger, they'll let us know and we'll go out there and have a look. The big stick is always there and Vic Roads are clear that they will use that if they need to but it's about education first up and they've been really helpful with us in working with our drivers and contractors. It's a small industry generally, most people know each other so there's families working together, families and friends. We don't want to see anyone hurt. Uh, it's critical that we can all go home at the end of the day and come back to work the next day. Fundamentally what this is all about is road safety for everyone. Alan, myself, Vic Roads, the TWU, the whole industry have got together and realised that when it comes to truck rollovers, it's absolutely vital to preserve the drivers, to take the pressure off them so they don't feel like they ever have to drive anywhere near the limit. We found that, yeah, more often than not, um, driver's not malicious in any way, shape or form. It's more his um, 1K, could be all it is, like, like they say in the, demo, in the presentation today. So, yeah, it could be as, as little as that, and we've, we've experienced that ourselves. People seem to be looking for the magic pill on, uh, on what will save a rollover and we don't believe there is one. Um, we think you've got to have your ear to the ground on a lot of factors, uh, which makes it pretty hard for, for most fleet operators. Um, one of the areas that we've spent a lot of time on is driver training. If we spent 10000 on training, it would be peanuts compared to what a single rollover costs us. And that's, and that's if no one gets hurt and, and, and the chances of that are fairly slim. So we really just can't afford not to train. Start off with the drivers because they're out there on the road, but make sure management and schedulers and everyone else you know, understand these things too. Industry education brings everybody up to the same level. Everybody knows what is expected of them and they should be at that level. If you can get this out to everyone in the industry, um, it is just going to be excellent for everyone and you can't put a price on safety. To many people a truck rollover might be a short news story they see on the nightly news or it might be an inconvenience for them as they're driving around. To those involved it will be a life-changing experience. 
I've attended hundreds of fatal collisions and many of which have involved trucks that have rolled over. I'm also a person who has knocked on the door at two o'clock in the morning to inform a loved one. So I believe this Vic Roads initiative deserves support. It has potential to reduce the number of uh, truck rollover crashes. It has the potential to uh, reduce the number of lives lost on the road. And hopefully it will mean that I don't have to knock on any doors in the middle of the night. Safety really is everyone's first concern. So it's been quite a privilege to be involved with the Rollover Awareness Initiative. Look, I'm really very pleased about the success it's already having in reducing the incidence of truck rollovers. It's a win, not just for the drivers, but for everyone involved across the transport industry and beyond. And its benefits stretch right out across the whole community. I'm delighted to have had such a high note to finish on. And I know my successor, Wayne Mater, feels just as strongly as I do about the importance of looking after our drivers. And I know he's just as passionate about supporting the whole road transport industry when it comes to safety issues like this one.